Good morning everybody and welcome back to the Blind Woodturners Workshop. We're ready today to uh, make another amazing project but as always don't forget your safety gear. And of course don't forget to keep your tools nice and sharp. Good morning everybody, uh, I'm Chris Fisher, the Blind Wood Turner, and welcome back to the workshop. Actually, I've just felt my ring there, so always remember to remove any rings and bracelets and uh, loose items so they don't get caught in your work. Uh, right, so yes, what I'm going to do today is a product review, and after spending the weekend at the Chestnut Wood Turner's weekend, there was a new product available uh, by Terry and his team, these little metallic paints. I thought, ooh, they sound nice. And Gary Lowe, RPT, did a wonderful demonstration uh, and incorporated some of these into a lovely wall hanging. So uh, obviously my interest was piqued. I thought, ooh, yeah, colour. Uh, so uh, I'm going to show you my first use of these and what I think of them and how they feel to me. Nicola is on hand behind the camera and she's going to tell me what the colours look like and come up with any suggestions for a palette. So I am going to turn this piece of pitched pine uh, into a cylinder, then I'm going to spray it black and then I'm just going to delineate it with some grooves. So I've got different areas uh, to apply some colour to, just so it makes things easy for you guys to uh, separate what I've done and see what I've done. Uh, so we're going to get going. So yeah. I'm just going to put my head shield on uh, and then we'll start knocking this into a round. Okay folks, roughing gouge and I've just put this on the strop just to uh, give it a, a new edge. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly turn this into centre. And while the thing cop, uh, and it's good advice, especially if you're doing spindle work, uh, because the, the fibres of the, the grain run along like little straws, uh, a good tip and it's uh, always reinforced this by Phil Irons, uh, the president of the AWGB and RPT, will turn it for 30 years. Get yourself a cup centre. Now what happens if it's just the cone, it's pushing those fibres apart and it's uh, affecting its stability and uh, its, its fit and obviously its safety. So get a cup, so you've just got a tiny little portion of the point sticking out and that will engage in the mark you've made in centre. But then a lot of force is applied evenly and it will engage, in this case, my step centre or if you're using a four uh, spur drive or whatever drive you're using, it will engage a lot more firmly uh, and it'll be safer. So spindle turning, good tip, get yourself a cup centre just makes things firmer and safer. Right, so let's go. I'm going to find where I need to be. Get this spinning up. I'll just stop. This smells absolutely amazing. Make sure. All those corners are knocked off initially, then I can move the tool rest in a little closer, check for spacing. I'm going to turn the speed up a little bit now. Okay folks, uh, I've got some black paint here so I'm going to give it a base of black, it's just uh, black acrylic uh, and what I have got on the top here, now pick this up at the weekend as well, it's, uh, is it called an aero spray? 
Nicholas just Aero gun. Aero gun, sorry. So, uh, available in a lot of places, but Terry had them for sale there. I think it's a new product for him. Turns the rackle cam into more of a uh, professional spray platform. So, uh, I've never used one before, but I've used spray guns when I used to work a million times. Like Bart Simpson says, that rattle in there is a little kid's tooth. Oh. Okay. I'm not bothered about getting it on my tail centre because I can just sand that off. I'm more bothered about it getting it over the drive unit and the headstock. So it's not going to be absolutely flooded with paint, and I like this. Is it good? Yeah. It looked good on um, much the more, Much more controlled. Windows. And this piece of card here, it is act, acting as not only a shield, but it's given me a mental reference. And if you can just tell me, Nicola, when I've pretty much got it off. I think you've pretty much gone all the way around, just turn it a bit. Highly recommended, love it. Uh, such a simple little thing makes it so much uh, easy to control and it feels a whole lot more professional. No. Just cheating a little bit here. Okay, that should be fine for the purposes of this demonstration. And what I intend to do now is just put some grooves along uh, just to delineate uh, and give ourselves uh, a few different areas to work on. So what I'm going to do here is get a skew, just make sure I get it at the height. So be about right, get in nice and close. So I'm just going to guess this. There's one. Start from this left hand here. Small, but uh, there you go. So that's cool. Okay, when we got these, uh, Nicola put uh, the little pen friend labels on these, and Nicola's recorded the colours on here for me. So that's it now that that's done. I'm uh, able to select these colours completely independently. So, why? So that's white. This is the range of colours you get in this. We got the starter kit. Black. Black, so white and black. So they're... Silver. Silver. Silver, silver. So these are metallic colours. Acrylic based. Pink. Pink. So that's going to add a little bit of a shimmer to your work. Dark blue. Dark blue. I'm going to ask Nicola. Copper. Copper. Nice. Green. Green. I think I've got room for one more there. Gold. Gold. So uh, a nice little range there of colours. So I'm going to ask Nicola to for this first to select 
uh, a few colours, or if you want, just one. Uh, we'll start with pink. Okay. That's I'm going to turn this pen friend off now. That's the third from the right. And uh, a good way to apply these is with a sponge, preferably a natural sponge, which you can get, uh, like Gary Lowell said, on your holidays to Greece, or you can pick them up in the country, of course, or on your favourite uh, internet site. I haven't got any natural sponge at the minute, so I'm just going to use uh, some clean dish sponges and have yourself a palette. So you said third from the right, that one? Yeah. You sure that's pink? Yeah. We can give these a little bit of a shake. And also, uh, you can thin these down if you've got some reducer. Design modification. <laughs> I would have chosen copper anyway. Good to see if the wife. Uh, <laughs> copper is the first one. So, uh, for, for the wood turners out there that prefer their projects round and brown, Look away now. Uh, so, okay, so that's the copper. Okay, yeah. so what I'm going to do now is ask Nicola to select another colour, preferably getting it right this time. Um, we'll have the end one. That end? No, the other end. This end? Yeah, just to show the label. That's gold. Alright, so we're going to apply a little bit of gold here. And the feeling, the feeling good. These colours. Can you see that, Nicola? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's so, good. So that's the gold. So. Obviously all these colours have got compatibility with each other and uh, you can overlay them uh, depending on what design and effect you're going for. So I'm going to leave that ring there now. So that's copper and gold. Can you select another colour, colour Nicola, and then I'll show you the label? Um, yeah, the, the other one on, on the end, I think that might be green. Green. Okay. So I'm going to go to the next. Okay. Okay, so you've got the green metallic on yeah, there. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. Yeah, looks quite verdigris. All right. And if you could select another colour, please. So we just should we just keep going along this way? May as well. Yeah, I'll use try them all. Oh yeah, will do. Um, dark. Just turn it around. Is that dark blue? Dark blue. Okay, that's blue. Mm. Okay. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get, I've used all four corners there. So, there's four left, so I can get a clean sponge. Out of the 
Oh, that's pink. Pink. <laughs> They all look really good. That's silver. Okay, can you see that? Yep. That one's black. Black. Difficult to see on black on black, but I'm going to apply it anyway. See that? Yeah. You didn't sound convinced? Well, you can see it. I'll just, just put did, some more yeah, on. Yeah, put a bit, a bit more on. Wait, is it this area? Yeah. I'd say they, they get more pronounced as they dry. Yeah, they will. So the ones on the other end are looking, they've got a lot more depth now. Right, okay. Right, pause that. <laughs> right, folks, I've applied these colours and Nicola has just said off camera, as they begin to dry, they begin to pop and the intensity uh, gets uh, a lot more exciting let's let's say mm -hmm. that so uh, if you remember on this first ring we did copper and gold yeah they look really good the copper looks really good I then like the that. next ring it was green and a dark blue mm. and then on the next ring we had pink and silver yeah just turn it down a bit yeah and then this final ring was black and white yeah so i can feel them there just still a bit tacky so what i'm going to do now is hit them with a hair dryer Okay folks, so I've just given this one coat of some gloss lacquer just to try and uh, emphasise uh, and make it just pop a bit more. Nicola said they're looking really good. So that's a quick introduction and my first feel of the new range of metallic 
paints from Chestnut Products. You can apply them by sponge, brush, you can thin them down and put them through your air gun, sorry, uh, your airbrush. Uh, but just remember, because they are acrylics, be, be uh, on your game with cleaning your airbrush. Uh, otherwise, these will dry pretty pretty quick in your airbrush and start to uh, gum everything up. So uh, yeah, but you can thin them down to probably the consistency of uh, between milk and single cream, but quite wanted to get them through. Uh, love it, piece of cake. Uh, obviously. What you will do on your projects is get your project sanded to a very high degree, uh, no tear out, make sure your finishing is uh, up to scratch, pun intended. And then you can apply these, you can overlap them, have fun, uh, experiment, create, uh, and yes, highly recommended. You can get yourself this starter kit, these sample pots, uh, and have a play with them but bring a new dimension and added dimension to your projects uh, if, if the whole colouring and texturing thing is your bag like it is for me. I'd just like to also say that these products with them being chestnut are available through Axminster Tools and Machinery and like Jimmy DeResta says who's going to be on our podcast next Monday uh, uh, if you support my sponsor you're supporting me so uh, yeah get these at Axminster uh, and have fun with them very very easy to use so I hope you've liked this introduction into the new range of metallic paint from Chestnut Products so I'm gonna get out of here now I've got a demo tomorrow night I'm public speaking tonight so yeah I've got stuff to do so hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to like share comment and subscribe please give us a thumbs up Hit the notification bell so you know when we're back in here. And also uh, keep on turning, everybody. So from me, Chris Fisher, RPT, I'm out of here. Bye.